We need to talk about episode five. Yes, it wasn't full of action or answers, but there are important things we need to discuss. So let's quickly begin. The episode starts with the rebellious man, and as long as we remember, his name is not revealed in the show yet. But IMDb says that his name is Randall, so let's go with that. He tries to sleep on the bus, and the monsters don't give him a rest. We haven't been seeing them for a while, and well, we kind of miss them. Anyways, the monsters were all around the bus, and Randall was doing the only thing he's been doing, which is being aggressive. The thing is, it actually worked. He said he's not scared of them, and as a result, the monsters just walked away. He may have just broken their hearts, we're not sure. As the monsters walk away from the bus, something weird happens. We hear a scream, and it reminds us of the days when the monsters were screaming instead of whispering. We believe his words may have changed things a little, and now they may have turned into their older version. But how? We know that, ever since Boyd found and brought the talismans, the monsters stopped screaming. So, what does it mean now? Let's take a look at Jade. While he holds the Polaroid photo in the middle of the night, he sees the man from the picture at his door. He just stares at him and smiles like the monsters do, but we know he's not one of them, right? He seems a little creepy to us. He shows Jade the journal and the symbol. The symbols bleed, and as Jade gets scared, the man just vanishes. Earlier, we saw that Ethan was questioning whether the symbols Jade sees are good symbols or not. At this point, they don't seem pretty good, because later on we finally see Jade and Victor having a small talk about it. In the morning, we see that Jade is in the bar and he tries to recreate the symbol by using empty bottles. Then Victor comes and asks Jade to play the violin, and in return he promises that he will talk about the man in the photo. It seems like an odd deal, but later on we learn that the only reason he wants Jade to play the violin is because his mother used to sing him Twinkle Star just to make him feel better among all this chaos. Victor has a kind and a beautiful soul for sure, and just like everyone, he's scared too. He's been through a lot and we feel bad for him. In the end, he keeps his promise and talks about the man in the photo. We learn that the mysterious man's name is Christopher. According to what Victor tells, Christopher began to see the symbol and everything has changed. You may remember the scene where Victor is just a kid and sees all these dead bodies on the road. We learn that his mother sent him away from Christopher and he survived the night unlike others. This might be the reason why Victor knew that something really bad would happen. You remember the Colony House Massacre, right? He knew Jade was seeing the symbol and that's why he thought everything that he's been through will happen again. So can we say the symbol is actually a warning to the townspeople? Whatever makes people see, it must be someone or something that wants to help and warn them in order for them to find a way to survive. Let's put Victor and Jade aside for a second and take a look at the other characters. In the morning, we see that Tabitha and Jim pay a visit to Boyd because Kenny told them about Sarah's return. They are angry for sure and they have every right to be. After all, Sarah tried to kill their little son. All they want is Sarah to stay away from their family. But the interesting thing is that Ethan wants to talk to Sarah. After discussing his wish, his parents decide to let him speak to Sarah. He says, Only monsters live in the forest and you're a monster. We believe his words aren't just coming from anger or disappointment, but instead it gives us a clue about Sarah. Will she eventually turn into a monster? We'll see. Later on, Tabitha goes to the forest and puts the wooden toys near the cave entrance. While she calls for the monster kids, we see that there are more of them than Tabitha has been seeing. They go near her and even touch her. But they don't seem like they consider Tabitha as a threat or enemy. We don't know what their deal is, but we believe they're not dangerous and they actually might be helpful in the future. Who knows? Last but not least, we see Jim finally tells Boyd about what happened in the storm, but Boyd tells nothing. We really don't know what is wrong with Boyd. He was one of the people who wanted to find answers, and now all he does is to keep everything he knows to himself. We know that what happened in the forest has changed him, and now he's confused. Now that he has begun to see Father Catry, things are more complicated than ever. Well, he needs to get his act together and talk to people. That's all we have for episode 5. Did you enjoy the episode, or were you expecting something different? What do you think will happen next? Don't forget to share your theories with us. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and share it with your friends. You can also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. See you soon.